think I was just out there like getting some of the jitters off of me with it being my first game. But I think I played pretty productive, but I could do better. Ryan, you were in that third Dallas pass rush package. Just what made that group so effective uh, on Saturday? Just the athleticism of everybody who is in the rush package, I would say. Got me, Tyler Barron. Uh, the Leo that we use is interchangeable with James Pierce and uh, Roman Harrison. So I would just say the athleticism. I would say the community surrounding Tennessee and just the opportunity to play in the SEC and just get a, a new look on life with me never being on the East Coast or in the South ever and me just being from California and being a West Coast kid. So just something new and opportunity. Matt, yeah, what's it been like working with Rodney Garner and, and being coached by him? He's he's a hard coach to play for, but if you understand that it's coming from a place of love and he really just wants you to be a, a better version of yourself, then you'll be able to play for you'll be able to play. Anybody should be able to play for him if you understand that. Patrick, Omar being from California, playing Arizona State, what, what did you know or think about Tennessee before they started? Recruiting? Honestly, didn't know much to be honest. Well, I, I hit the portal. Uh, the semester before the season, I left. But I had stayed there, and Coach Gardner, he was in contact with me then. We talked a little bit. So from there, I did keep an eye on Tennessee throughout the whole season. Uh, so, But other than that, I really didn't know much about Tennessee, the culture here, or just anything. Vince, what excites you about this Tennessee defense, whether it's what you've seen in camp or what you guys did in that first game? Uh, I'm saying – First, as a team, I'm going to say the team, I think our will to win. Like, I've never been around people who, like, it's a culture, a, a winning culture. So, the belief that we're going to win, and then as a defense, just our strain to get to the ball, we are just more attacking. We're a more attack defense, I would say. Just to come, try to compare it to, like, Arizona State. Like, coming here, it was more like we're getting off the ball. We're going to attack. So, I would say that's something I really like about this defense is just our will to attack and then get to the ball. Go back to Ben. Just our attention to detail, I would say, and then our strain and want to to get to the ball. Uh, you know he's a young guy, so him being able to take that step and mature fast, I am proud of him for that. But tech, technic, uh, what am I trying to say? Like his his technique could be better, I would say. But he played pretty good, just for him being the age he is and how he got put into the role and the way he's went about like playing the role. I would say he's doing pretty good. He's helped me a lot, honestly. He keep, when I'm when I'm not too sure, as far as like early in camp, spring camp, he helped me a lot. Just wasn't too sure with where to be as far as alignment and just learning the defense. So I would say he helped me a lot, just being comfortable in the defense. Do Martin Patrick? Martin, you came into the defensive line that brought a lot of guys back, a lot of experience. You guys play a lot up front. What's it like being a part of that? And how, how did the defensive line sort of welcome you when you first came in? Uh. They welcomed me pretty good. It was just being the kind of guy I am, I'm kind of like a, a loner. So I didn't – coming in, I really didn't talk much, you know. So they did they did work on – take some time with them embracing me and me embracing them and just knowing that I'm a part of the ball family and the D-line room and I'm no different than anybody else. So it, it took – it was a process, but everything, it was all good. Ben, last question. Your thoughts as a defensive lineman on John Campbell's block there? Relentless. <laughs> like it was, it was, it's 
kind of bad. As as a linebacker, like, why are you still backpedaling? And that was kind of my idea. Like, bro, just fall. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? But, yeah, John is yeah, a relentless play, I would call it. Thanks, Omar. Thank you, guys.